is called This Is My, where we bring on a mystery guest who has a close connection to one of our panellists. This week, each of David's team will claim it's them that has the genuine connection to the guest. Okay. And it's up to Lee's team to spot who's telling the truth. So please welcome this week's special guest, Lucy. <laughs> I hate the pandemic stuff. I hate that they're all like super separated and stuff, but they put this woman between two like glasses or plastics or whatever, acrylics, I don't know. But I mean, a little much, a little much, but whatever. Sam, what is Lucy to you? So this is Lucy and uh, last year her pig delivered my Christmas card. <laughs> Miles, how do you know Lucy? Uh, this is Lucy. I know Lucy. Uh, when I had to have an, uh, an intimate medical examination, I inadvertently brought her with me. <laughs> David, what is your relationship with Lucy? This is Lucy. Together, we discovered that I have the hearing of a rat. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lee, where do you want to start? What? Let's start with Sam. How do you know this lady? <laughs> Um, she lives in my village, or where I used to live. OK. And is she a farmer? Yes. Right. Did her pig yeah. deliver your... <laughs> that yes was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense to what I just said. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the help. And is she a farmer? Yes. Right. Did her pig deliver your Christmas card from her, or did her pig deliver your Christmas card to somebody else? No, her pig delivered the Christmas card that was for me to me. To you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want to say the joke or not? Did the pig have it in its little snout? Because if it did, wouldn't it have got very wet? Because pig snouts are very wet. Are they? Yes. You never kissed a pig? Very <laughs> wet. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> um... It actually takes a while to get used to. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Nice. So, you know, like you get a little dog, um, a little harness. A little harness. Oh, the Christmas card harness. Which is a harness, yeah. like you would have a lead on a dog oh, and the right. cards were there. Slid under the harness. Yeah. How far is your house from her house? About two miles. Two miles. But the pig hasn't walked two miles. The pig has been driven to the village and then off the pig trots. <laughs> and um, I was doing Christmas, it's Christmas, right, dinner. It's Christmas Day. Yes. It's a bit late for Christmas cards, Christmas Day. Well, that's why they yeah, have to resort to delivery by pig. <laughs> <laughs> I'm washing the pots, doing a bit of looking out the window. Really lovely day, beautiful, beautiful. And I, I see Barry the pig. Barry. Barry <laughs> the pig is called Barry. So you've met Barry before. Yeah, everyone knows Barry. Barry goes to the pub and everything. And <laughs> oh, so oh. Barry. I hope he doesn't have the port scratchings. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Oh. That's really horrible. Like going, so it's like my brother Pete, this. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, anyway, so he's toddling <laughs> along, and um, I'm like, oh, oh, hope he's all right. So I go <laughs> out to check he's all right. Did you just talk us through how you did that again? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where did the pig go after you would taken the cow? I picked pig up because he's only little, pot bellied pig. I think I've read recently that there's no such thing as a miniature pot belly pig. All there is is little pigs that are young. I know a rescue centre that takes loads of pigs because yeah. people have sold them as pot belly pigs and they're not. George yeah, you have to be careful pig. with that, though, because they can grow to be really enormous and people think they're really cute and little and all the rest of it. Yeah, but that's the same with kids, isn't it? <laughs> oh, OK. okay. Who would you like to question next? Um, sorry, Miles, can you remind me? Uh, yeah, when I had to have uh, an intimate medical examination, I inadvertently brought uh, Lucy with me. OK. Tell us about the medical examination. Right, well... <laughs> what about on your body? Yeah. Well, it was an intimate medical examination, so already I suspect your, 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 your options are limited. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to go in the bottom area. Yeah, I was going to say, you've got to choose front or back. Um... <laughs> this reminds me of the conversation we had the first time we met. Yeah. <laughs> Was it back? Sure. It was back. It was back. Yes, yes. It was back. the back. Back uh... bottom. Basically, I was working, and, yes. and, and then when I got to work, I felt ill. Right. And uh, so I needed to go to hospital. There was pains down below. Yes. And Lucy, very kindly, rang uh, NHS Direct for me. Right, who is Lucy? Why? Lucy was a colleague. What situation were you in at this time? So I was uh, rehearsing a play. OK, and is Lucy an actor? 
No, Lu Lucy is, uh, uh, she does the technical stuff. She's a sta stage manager. This could be true because I don't think Miles was quite sure what she does for a living. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but when I say cappuccino, it arrives. <laughs> <laughs> and so the NHS director said, right, you, you, you need to go to the nearest hospital. Mm -hmm. And the reason that Lucy came with me to the hospital is because the thing that I was rehearsing <laughs> was a play that only had me in. And so Lucy was told to go with me so that we could run uh, the lines. What was the play? It was a one-man play that I was, I was in. The Downpipe Blues. It was called... <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yeah, it, it was called um, uh, The Life I Lead. So what happens? You get to the hospital. So we go, we go to the hospital and we're sitting in the rating room and someone comes and says t to us... Did he say we're rating room? Hospital, ...and we're sitting in the rating room and someone comes and says... To I love when other people mess up. And I love when they're, you know, they're professional comedians, actors, famous, whatever, and they mess up on film. I love it. It makes me feel like less of a failure. <laughs> you get to the hospital. So we go, we go to the hospital and we're sitting in the rating room and <laughs> someone comes and says t to us, because we're sitting next to each other, C can you come in now? So we just do as we're told and we get up and we go in. So I, I thought that must be what's meant to happen. They, say they spoke to, to both of us. That's the problem with having the same word for you, singular, and you, plural. <laughs> we should go back to thou. <laughs> 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 so we went, we went in, and the doctor, she says, I've got to examine you, so what, what you need to do is take your pants and your trousers off, get up onto that bed there, turn onto your side so your back is facing me. And I went, OK. And at that point, Lucy went, I really don't think I'm meant to be in here. <laughs> and, and the doctor, she said, no, it's absolutely fine for partners to be here. And she went, I'm not, not his partner, I'm his colleague. <laughs> and that's when Lucy uh, left the room and the examination reached its very happy conclusion. Yeah. <laughs> now, what about, what about David? Just remind us, David. Um, th this is Lucy, and, and together we discovered that I have the hearing of a rat. <laughs> Oh, yeah. okay. How did this get discovered? <clears throat> well, in uh, our house, we were wondering for some time if there might be some mice about. I'd seen a mouse outside, and I think my wife had sort of wondered whether she'd sensed some scurrying. But it was you probably... weren't staying at Disneyland, were you? It wasn't a seven-foot person with a French accent again, was it? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, anyway, I then went away for a couple of days for work. Okay. Um, which I occasionally get. <laughs> I then returned home late one night and went into the kitchen and I could hear a distinct high pitched. <coughs> and I went out of the kitchen and it stopped. And I went into the kitchen and I could hear it. And I thought, is there something wrong with me, other than the, the usual? <laughs> and I wonder, is it something weird that the fridge is doing? Or the wine fridge? Yes, we're doing OK. <laughs> <laughs> or, or the dishwasher? <laughs> that dream come true. <laughs> but anyway, I'm not sure. I asked my wife about it, and, and it turns out she's bought something, which is a plug-in um, mouse-scaring noise machine. And it was the frequency that was being emitted by this plug-in machine. And it should be inaudible to humans. It should be inaudible to humans. And wh um, where does Lucy come into this story? Well, I mentioned it to my doctor and they said I should have a hearing test because it's an unusual thing yeah. and I wouldn't want to only hear things that rats <laughs> and mice could hear. <laughs> uh, so I went to, a, uh, to have my ears tested uh, yes. by, by Lucy. Nothing else, uh, though? I mean, if, if the dog... Whistle went off in the park. Would you hear it? I d well, I don't know. <coughs> I, I heard that. Uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, <three laughs> no, no, I didn't hear anything. Yeah, oh, <laughs> did you hear anything? Did you hear it? I didn't hear anything. No, there was a little sort of rodenty sneeze there <laughs> that, uh, that Rob did, um, which probably only I can hear. I like to think it's, it's a superpower, really. <laughs> All right. All right, we need an answer. Lee's team, is Lucy mm. Sam's farmyard friend, Miles's checkup chum, or David's ear expert? I go with checkup chum, just because it sounds funny. Nah, because it's the only one that... 
I believed. <laughs> it's it's. I guess the pig thing is possible. I just I, I, it was the more believable one to me. It's my, miles for me. You, miles. Yeah, because I have so many problems with my bottom. Yeah. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> Are we going to do this again? I recently heard about Bob's bottom problems. Also, when he said that on Taskmaster, I thought I thought it was a, a, a Bob story type joke. But um, let's find out. Into the doctor's surgery like this, and he just said, <laughs> okay, "Hello, no. Mr. Bottomer." <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> The, you say it's miles. For me, yeah. Have you had similar <coughs> examinations? Every single week. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Sarah? What are you going to say? Oh, Sam. Sam for you. I've got miles. You say it's miles. I think it might be miles. OK. Uh, Lucy, would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Lucy, and Miles took me to his <gasps> intimate examination. Oh. Brilliant. Yes, Lucy is Miles's checkup chum. Thank you very much, Lucy. That is not the voice I expected Lucy to have. I love those. I love women with those deep, raspy voices where it sounds like they smoked for 90 years. Like Miley Cyrus right now. I love those kind of voices. And that's, I, I don't know why I was not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs>